The way I met Wiz was um, I was looking for a studio to record at. And it's funny because when you think of a recording studio, you think that you can call and be like, yo, y'all signing people? So that was the first thing that I did. I called the studio and I was like, yo, I'm looking for somewhere to get signed. Like thinking that I could, thinking that I could really do that and it doesn't really work that way. So my homie E. Dan, which is like one of my good friends now and still has the same studio, he was like, we're a recording studio. We don't sign people, you can come down here and record. I was like, all right, cool. So I found a place, went to book some time and uh, it was $50 an hour and uh, I paid for two hours and the two hours that I was sitting in there, Wiz was in the back room and I was in the front room recording. And uh, we kind of like heard what each other was doing but didn't say anything to each other. So it became a point where we both were in the lobby and he was like, yo, what's up, man? I like what you're doing, I'm Wiz. And I introduced myself, yeah, I'm Kev, I'm from Hazelwood. He was like, oh, I, used to go to, I used to go to Older Dice, which is a school, a high school, like up the street some more. And like all my little cousins and stuff already knew who he was. So I was like, oh, I came back home, I'm like, y'all know Wiz, blah, blah, blah. He was like, yeah, he be rapping in school and things like that. And um, from then, you know, we, we recorded a song that day. It's called Me. And from then, we just clicked tight. We've been friends. We've been brothers. You know, there have been a lot of times where people said things about me, that he stood up for me. And, you know, people said things about him that I stood up for him. Now that he, been, he became who he is, and from that, that point on, I'm like, I'm riding with you. I got you. So we've just been stuck side to side.